Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another episode of What's Up CE. I don't know about you, but have you ever in your life not hit your goals? Hey, thanks for joining me on this episode. Um, you know, as we close the year out, I was just reflecting um, of how my goals have been going this year. And I thought I'd just share with you what my big, hairy, audacious goal was for 2019. Um, just come here for a look. Um, that's it. Uh, I had it in my office, uh, made a declaration at the beginning of the year, and I wanted to help 50 agents to write a million dollars GCI. Um, the reality is, um, I don't think we're gonna get there. That's the reality and the truth. Um, I can tell you that we've got 31 people that we've helped write a million dollars or over, which is super awesome, but also putting things into perspective and context, um, it's been a pretty rough year, rough real estate you know, environment for the last 12 to 18 months, but that's no excuse, right? Uh, because to me, with my goals, I'm certainly not motivated by money. I don't put a goal of, I wanna write X, Y, Z. Um, I get motivated by people. Um, and that's why, you know, for me, um, and I was thinking about next year, 2020, what would be a super cool goal for me to do? Because even though I said 50 million, eight, well, sorry, 50, I wanna help 50 agents reach a million dollars, um, not everybody that I was starting to speak to this year, that's not their goal. Because for a lot of my clients, I started to discover that, um, their happiness doesn't come from a certain GCI level. Um, everyone has a, a different level of happiness, yeah? Um, one guy said to me, he goes, Claddy, if I'm writing $500,000 a year, I'm actually super happy. Um, I get a holiday with my family each year. We have a deposit for an investment property, and I'm like going, wow, that's cool. So it really sort of resonated with me that this goal here, in actual fact, wasn't aligned with my clients. It was my goal, not my clients. And for me, after thinking about it, I thought, damn, you know, what's my goal for 2020? So I want you to come over here and just have a quick look. So if you work with me, um, you'll know that, uh, and I know I've got some clients out there who are watching this. Hey guys, <laughs> um, and you know this, that at the end of each of our sessions, I always ask my clients, are you in green, orange or yellow, or red, yeah? Because to me, it's a traffic light system. Green is like, you're in flow, you're moving forward, you're clear, there's a plan, um, and you're making progress, yeah? Um, orange is feeling a bit stuck, um, a little bit unclear, and your wheels are spinning, yeah? And sometimes our clients are in orange moving into green. And then you've got like orange, and then you've got red. Um, I won't mention names for just obviously privacy reasons, but I'd probably say because of the volatility that we've had, a lot of agents found it very challenging. And I'd say I probably had four calls where people rang me in their red. Um, one of them is, and I'm sure he won't me mind me mentioning his name, Johnny Warren, 47 cents in his bank account. We had this conversation back in January and it was actually about like, you know, cutting out the coaching program. Um, I think last time we spoke, he was on track to write close to $700,000. Um, and that's how quickly we can turn the red, orange, and then go to green. So thinking about of all of this, and I was thinking, you know, um, goal for 2020, um, it's actually getting all my clients in green lights. It just means that you're flowing, you're moving forward. And when you're moving forward and you're making progress and you have a level of momentum, and you've got traction, guess what kicks in? It's a thing called happiness and joy. Um, it's not related to a dollar amount. It's just like you have a level of flow, green meaning in your life. It could be in your business, it could be relationships, it could be with your health, it could be in all the areas of your life, right? So our, my goal for 2020 is to help every client of mine that works with me to get them into green lights. That's what I'm really hoping to get. and. Uh, you know, this year, like, we've got this, and if you look here, I've got the goals and brag wall. And I started it this year because, you know, a lot of agents 
made a declaration and that declaration they did a deal with themselves of like what's their goal and you know a good portion a majority of them are pretty much on track to get there which is great some are coming flying home had a rough first six months but they're really coming strong and they also get to brag because I think you've got to have bragging rights and their bragging rights to me isn't is not going out there being cocky and going hey look at me I'm the king it's more about internally celebrating and I love to celebrate with my clients. So we had a lot of people brag this year as well, including what's been happening. So for me, it's like goals and brag, well, having that as a traffic light system and finally just get everybody into, uh, into green lights. So as we close the year out, um, I wanna ask you, where are you right now? Are you in green? Is your business flowing? Are you in possibly orange, feeling a little bit stuck or unclear? Or are you in red, which is sometimes feeling lost um, in a bit of a downward spiral? And the thing is, can you get out of that? Absolutely. Sometimes for a lot of us, it just comes down to certain experiences that we've had. And those experiences could be losing a listing, um, you know, having a breakup, all of these experiences that you have in life, what we tend to do as humans is we sometimes tend to relive those experiences. And as we relive those experiences constantly in here, guess what happens? It's a story we start to tell ourselves. 2020 can be completely different for you. You can change and be the narrative of your own story and get yourself into green lights. I would love and be honored to be part of that journey with you if you're thinking of going to another level in your business, being brand new in the industry, three years and looking at building a team, or you're a principal and want to get your team moving and into green lights as well. I hope this has been an amazing year for you as it has been for me, even though I didn't reach my goal, but it certainly brought a lot of light and perspective into me of exactly what happiness is for everybody. It's not about dollars and cents. It's about being in green lights. Here's all the best for 2020.